I have to show you, like, the critters around here may be keeping us from going on vacation. This is our RV. And to start with, we didn't have any, well, the uh, refrigerator wasn't cold. It wouldn't, it wouldn't stay on. So we started working on it. And this little box here had a red light on it. And I done a search on it and I found out on YouTube how to find out if it was the box that had went out or it had just tripped. It's kind of like it shuts everything down if there's a problem. Okay, there's a little red light here. It was on. So I found out I had to hold a magnet on it for about 30 seconds and then just slide it over to the right. And then when we heard clicking and the light turned off, we knew the box was okay. So it had tripped because there was a problem. Well, okay. We couldn't use it on electric and we couldn't use it on propane. It just went, it would just come on, it was set to come on on electric. We had it plugged in and everything. And then it would automatically, it wouldn't go there. So it would go automatically over to propane. Okay, so we start, we got this red light off and this box is working. And we're trying to light the propane. I can tell, I can see up in this area here and right through there, I see some yellow flames for a short period of time. It goes poof and it goes out. So I lifted this box up here and I could tell there was no flame right in here. This is where you should be able to see a nice blue frame. flame. Anyways, my husband came out and he took this box off. And would you believe it was mud dauber nest all over where the flame shoots out. All over the, I mean, just everywhere. So he cleaned that all out, took care of that, went in and tried it. Electric didn't come on, but the gas did finally come on to make the refrigerator work. Okay, well, think, well, at least we have the gas part working. So he decided to go ahead and take the cover off this. This is for the electric and it's kind of like a circuit board. He pulls it off and there's mud dauber gas all over it. So he very gently removes all the mud dauber nest and I get a brush and he brushes it real gently and cleans it all off. And I really thought uh, it's gonna need it's gonna need another board, but went in, turned it on, and it started working. So, okay, now we have our refrigerator. We're cool. So last Friday night we decided we would take the RV into town to park it because we leave it parked most of the time. And that was our date night, so we just thought, well, we'd drive it in. Get on the road and we don't have air conditioning. It was hot. I have to take you in and show you that. And it's a mess in here. <laughs> okay, we had to figure out how to get the cover off of that. Let's see. Where do I start? Here? Yeah. There was a big rat's nest right down in there. They have chewed. This isn't the only one that was chewed. I know when he lifted, I'll show you the one out front, too. This is some kind of a sensor. Um, yeah, it's got to all be replaced, but getting down underneath there to it, I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't know. And he says, we don't even know. I know he said there was a couple more that was chewed off. I don't see them. I don't know where they're off, they're at, but this may be keeping us from going on vacation. A rat. I could have shot. If I could find a rat, I'd shoot it. 
and I don't do that. This makes me so angry. Now I'm going to take you out front and show you what else they got. Which, here, this is part of it. We found this in the rat's nest down there. And this all has to do with the uh, air conditioning. The, the blower blows where the, the defrost is, but it won't come out here. And when it does come out up there, it is hot air. So let me take you outside and show you where this piece come from. But we have no idea where it attaches. No idea. Let me show you that. Okay, that piece was from right here. And where it went to and what it went into, we don't have a clue. And we live out in the middle of nowhere. And I think the nearest town we could get to would be the city and that's a ways away in time, probably time we had it fixed, we wouldn't be able to afford to go on vacation. So I think the rats have interrupted our vacation this year until we can get this fixed. My husband's pretty handy, but you just don't know where all this stuff goes. All right, I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it was crazy. Those darn rats. Mud daubers to start with, but we spent three days trying to figure that out. Finally did. And now we had to deal with the rat problem. And if you have any ideas on how to keep rats away from your vehicles, let me know. I know out in the barn, he has several classic cars out there. They're pretty old and they look awful, but he says they run. Now we did get the Thunderbird running. There's one of those little T-Birds out there, you know, the little double seater with the little windows in the back. Um, I think an Eau DeSoto that has a convertible top, but the rats have really ravaged it. So if you have any idea how to keep them away, let me know. Until the next time, bye.